Hello guys, welcome to DNA from the beginning and we are talking about set of experiments sequentially which leads to the foundation of basis of modern genetics and biology and we have seen 12 successive experiments which leads to the idea of Gregor Mendel and supporting the hypothesis of Charles Darwin actually now which is a fact kind of now in, in last experiment of George Shull we have seen that he found out in real life that the variation is important and the development of variation come through the way of genetic recombination and due to this variation evolution becomes more and more easier in the experiment number 13 now we are going to talk about the scenario of other thing and that is by uh, you know Charles Davenport Charles Davenport in 1907 he started to work with the Mendelian genetics and he was fascinated about it he thought that whether Mendelian genetics can explain human evolution or the human lifestyle or human genetics or not because Mendelian genetics in the basic level always dealt with plants isn't it that's the important thought nobody give a thought but Charles Davenport did in 1907 many years later the experiment of Gregor Mendel he thought that whether he can imply those Mendelian laws or rules in the genetics or genetic inheritance of human being and what he did now he find out you know the problem with applying those in the human being is that you cannot take human being as an experimental organism because it's highly unethical nobody will allow you to do that so what we can do is that we can see or you can back calculate all these things from looking at a whole family history we can look at the family history from different traits that's the eye color the skin color the height and you know in many different properties that we want to study by looking at the family history we can actually apply the law to find out whether the law is justified or it is not right and that's what is the work of Charles Davenport in 1907 what he did he took different family history you know the family history the family history at that time which is very very important or, and very interesting was the family history of the Queen of England Queen Victoria and the family because Queen Victoria and her whole family kind of devastated by royal blood disease which is termed as hemophilia so that hemophilia is something that helps scientists to study and to follow the genetics pattern of human and to apply other laws of genetics by you know Gregor Mendel to find out whether they're acting or not on the other hand similarly if we want to see it in a very gentle and basic way we can look for a family tree that is the family history the only way to look at the family history to look at their family tree but the problem again remains family tree that is also termed as remember pedigree but the problem constructing pedigree e was that generally except for very rich individual pedigree in the family was not there to all of the people so it's very difficult to find a very wealthy family like the family you know rich family and uh, like like the queens and others so in that case only you can find that family in that case only you can find those family tree and you need to look down that family tree to find out what's going on there but even you find the family tree and you're looking down that part in this case Charles Davenport what, what he found there he looked for a very basic character and the character is eye color and the eye color at that time and normally till now the dominant part of the eye color is dark is dark dark brown that's what the normal dominant color and the recessive color e was blue and still now it's also recessive color blue eye color that's that's recessive that's not very common very common one is the dark brown so what he found out he found out this as a dominant this as a recessive and try to apply this to a whole family tree and what he found there was something like that so according to the pedigree ideas the pedigree construction is it has some rules like you know box means male circle means female uh, completely filled boxes either way means 
diseased half filled means it is a carrier or you can say carrier means this uh, dot inside a blank circle or or, or or a square whatever and if they are attached with the same line they are then siblings if they are attached you know and and one thing that is coming like that and dividing that means the marriage or something like that so these things are actually present all over the place so I assume that you all know the laws of pedigree assuming that fact what he found that one male marries one female and finally they have some baby there and the baby they had here all of them let's say two of them are boy two of them are girl all of them are containing brown eye color and after that you know among this father and mother one is you know brown and other one is blue okay and finally once he took so this is the scenario after that once one of the member for this generation is after the marriage with other one they will get the baby and uh, among their baby they will find one of them to be blue eye color and rest of them to be brown eye color so by looking at this type of pedigree what we can apply so let's imagine in the fine first level that we need to construct again that mathematical formula there to, to get the idea for example here in the male let's imagine here it's having the dark brown eye color so let's write the homozygous part of it I mean the dominant part of it capital B means the dominant so capital B capital B the blue eye colored means small b small b there so after this cross so let me write small b in this blue color here what we find among them will all of them are all of them are brown because they have one dominant gene there and all of them have one gene for blue but as it is recessive it will, won't express so they ultimately get all brown eye color after that again if we look at here crossed with another one which is who is also a blue eyed or you know also a brown eyed but same property what we'll find there we'll find something like this small b small b only represents the blue eye color rest of them are of dark brown because capital B is dominant so by looking at it we can actually explain the pedigree how can we explain the pedigree if you look at here that it is it can be explained by the normal Mendelian inheritance try to find that these are the two parent crossed and finally all of them generation one brown eye color it's just like the pea plants you know tall with short all of them were tall so now we can apply it yes it is applied on the other hand again from the generation one in plant they self fertilize but it's not possible there so in that case we take someone else who is also having that brown nature right and we cross them what we find there that one of them are of this blue color rest of three are of brown color so it means again the ratio is 3 is to 1 which is the Mendelian ratio right but remember we took here the geno genotype as capital B small b but if we, had, we took capital B capital B as a brown source in that case all of them again would be brown right but this thing was not known at that time to Charles Davenport he only find this card this type or this type of he can explain the results like that at least in some extent so he thought and he prescribed that yes human genetics can also be explained by Mendelian ideas or Mendelian laws or Mendelian rules and that's what the idea here Mendelian rules are applicable to human genetics too and that's what the experiment number 13 concludes that Mendelian Mendelian laws 
are applicable to human inheritance. So that's it.